Yeah, it is. Obviously, um, the extended week, the last couple of years, but um, I think it serves a really good purpose throughout the whole the footy industry and uh, particularly coaches who have a tight schedule the whole way leading up until Christmas from the back end of the season. And um, As players, we continue to, to do the work, but it was nice to get away and spend some time with family and friends. You're under the radar a bit too. There's a bit of hype at, say, St Kilda, the Bulldogs, other places that suit North Wood. Uh, yeah, we're not too fussed, to be honest about that. We've, um, we had a really good build-up until Christmas, seven weeks for our younger guys, five weeks for the entire playing group, some new faces that's been touched on, and um, we're, we're really happy and confident the way we've been building. And then, really important month for all clubs, the next um, little period leading into some official games, and then, then obviously the season opener. So a match with the main group today. Uh, it seems like he's doing a bit more than what he was pre-Christmas. How is that progression looking from your point of view? Yeah, well, it's looking good. It's good to have him out there. He, he did a fair bit pre chrissy and he'll continue that build-up along with the rest of us over the next sort of four to six weeks. In terms of, I guess, his role and not having him last year, but I guess you must look forward to, to him having him back, particularly with no Scotty Thompson this year as well. Yeah, we've got a couple of guys to fill the void of Scotty Thompson, but just personally, I imagine it's good to see him back <laughs> out there and... Um, he's in great spirits, training well, and uh, we look forward to him returning. Pretty experienced midfield group last season. Do you see any of the younger guys stepping into it in a more sort of consistent basis next year? Yeah, we hope so. We gave him um, a fair bit of midfield time last year, particularly the back end of the year. And we found ourselves rotating a lot more through the high half forward roles, wing and inside. And um, we feel like the deeper we can go there, the better for the team. And, and hopefully the personnel continues to grow in there. And you saw the likes of Simkin and, and Thomas and, and these guys, uh, Luke Davis, Uniac, get game time last year. I'm sure that'll continue to build in, in this year. Have you put up your hand for State of Origin? Um, yeah, I, um, I'll be available for selection. So um, it'll be uh, an amazing honour. All players, I'm sure, would, would love that. And um, I've, I feel like I've had a really good pre-season, feel fit, and um, that, that would be a great opportunity. You mentioned Luke Davies in before. There's been a bit of attention on him the last sort of 24 months since he came into the system. How's he progressing over the summer? Yeah, he's been good. He's in the, the basket of all our younger guys who um, go about their work every week and, and games to, to get better. It's always... I've said it before around him, but it's for all early draft picks that um, we're an impatient industry, industry sometimes in, in regards to our first round selection of players. And, um, you know, even personally, you look back on your career and sometimes it does take six, eight, ten years to reach the, the player that um, everyone else expects that player to be. And Luke is progressing really well. He's got areas of the game that he knows that he needs to, to work on and um, like all of us. So he, um, he's going to work on those. Touch on your own pre-season. Does much change from 12 months to the next now as you get older are you, and with the way the game's going in terms of your body shape and that sort of thing? Are you changing much here and there? Um, not so much in terms of body shape. A little bit um, in the gym, slightly different program over the last 18 to 24 months with some different coaching staff in that area, which has benefited me with some, some past injuries. Um, got me feeling good there and, and always just trying to find ways to get better, what, what can I improve on? What can I do both on and off the field to help that? And um, yeah, that's what I've been going to work on. What about positionally? Has anything changed over the next 12 months for you? Back into the career, do you, do you play more time forward or half back or something like that? Uh, I'm not sure. The, the plan for this year is, is to do more of the same of, of last year and um, probably more of the back end of last year, to be honest. So early on was pretty much. 100% midfield time and then as I, as I touched on in the back end of the year we got some more rotation through there so I expect to play inside mid wing and, and half forward. Just on uh, Taron Thomas it seems like he's got the attributes to sort of be whatever he wants to be how's his application um, that, that, from what you've seen? So yeah he's had a great pre-season he's built on what he was able to do um, through last year in terms of his playing uh, he's one of those guys that we would love to spend some more time through the midfield. He's so damaging forward of the ball as well. And then as a junior, he played off half back. So he's blessed what he can do and where he can play and what he can give us. And um, that versatility is going to help us as well. But uh, he'll, he'll continue to grow and uh, he, he's going to be an exciting player for us. What have you seen from Aiden Bonner since he came to the club? What do you like about him? Well, he's, you know, I mean, Obviously, the size of it is good. Um, he works really well with Cunners on the inside. He's, he's powerful. Um, he, he's fitted in really well. Great personality, good character around the group. And he's loving his time here. And, and he's been training well and shown some really good signs in the match team that we've had so far. And he's, he's another one I should have mentioned that's just going to add to the midfield depth as well.